I'm Mike Merchant with the Texas AgriLife Extension Service and we're here to talk about mosquitoes. Specifically some things you can do around your backyard to control mosquitoes to eliminate the risk of bites in your own yard. Mosquitoes are amazing animals. Um, they require very little to breed in your backyard and after you put on the repellent the single most important thing you should do or at least the first thing you should do is to look to see if you're actually breeding mosquitoes in your own yard. All it takes is a few leaves and a little bit of water and it can be in something as small as a cup, uh, a soda can, more often in backyards it might be children's play toys, um, tarps over a boat, wheelbarrows, uh, potted plants in the backyard, or an untended fountain or a fish pond without fish in it that can breed mosquitoes. These are fairly easy to treat. Either you drain the water source or you can use something like this mosquito dunk, which is a, a bacterial formulation that kills mosquitoes. It's very safe for fish and other uh, organisms other than insects, but this is toxic to fly larvae like mosquito larvae in water. So one of these dunks in a, in a body of water that you can't drain, otherwise drain will treat that very effectively and kill mosquito larvae so that you don't have adult mosquitoes emerging in your yard. Nobody thinks they have standing water in their backyard, but most of us do, at least from time to time. And uh, just a few places besides the, the fountains and the fish ponds to think about are uh, buckets and uh, flower pots. Make sure that if you have pots outside that you're storing, that they have holes in them, they're not going to hold water. If you have a bucket, make sure you store it upside down because that, that way water won't collect in there after a rainstorm. If you have wheelbarrows, make sure they're turned up like this so that they don't catch and hold water. All of these are very common areas for water to be standing in a backyard.